How's it going, everyone? I just wanted to talk about the issues I see with this Leatherman Arc. Um, the first one's a little petty. It's not too big of an issue. This is just kind of personal preference. But I just believe this is very slick in the hands. Um, when you're using it, I feel like you could just drop it easy. It's not like the uh, G10 scales. Um, I prefer the G10 over something like this. Um, I just feel like it's very, very slick in the hands and it's easy to fall out. Um, I feel like for like a premium tool, it should have had some kind of texture on it uh, just to make it easier to hold. That's one minor concern I have with the Leatherman Arc. Um, my other concern would be this bit driver. It's not a, quite an issue yet, but I talked about this in the video before, but you can see it has some play. Um, I've used it, you know, I've used it on uh, my video where I tested it on screws, the Phillips, and it did fine, but I feel like if you're just kind of going, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise, it's okay, but if you're going up and down, it has some dip, you can see that, see how it dips down and up, as opposed to the Leatherman um, let me see here. The Leatherman Charge. You got barely any play. There's like no give at all. See? Same with the uh, Leatherman Surge and other Leathermans. So that's one concern. I just don't know the long-term effectiveness. Eh, long-term, um, you know, what it's going to do in the long-term. But you got the 25 year warranty, so that's good. This uh, this seems like it's made out of different material as well, but as compared to like the other tools on the, uh, there's the date. If you ever need the date, you can see it right there, 623. You can see it pretty well there. But that's one, another concern. That's the second concern I have. My third concern, not really a concern, but issue, is this all. Let me talk about it. Um, there's my Surge. I love the Surge. Gem 1 is still my favorite. You can see the awl is very, very small. I mean, it'll still do the job, but they should have gave you a bigger awl, I think, for the price that they, you know, uh, charged. But look how small this awl is compared to the uh, Surge's awl. I think, in my opinion. The length is not really there. They could have put a hole too. Maybe it's just too small to put a hole here. Um, some people like that. You can see right there. And this feels more aggressive as well. The pipe reamer. You can see, you could probably use this as a pipe reamer as well. But I don't use the all that much. I just think that's kind of a concern to me like um I mean I'd rather have a longer length all that's all I'm saying if I used it because you could reach better but I think you can see the date can you see the date there yep 0623 so that's one that I was made if you ever need to know um so both sides are the same sometimes Leatherman does different you know sides um but yeah, those are my, basically my four concerns. The bit driver, the awl, uh, the texture of it as well, um, which is kind of petty, like I said. And what was the fourth one? Let me see. I'm trying to think. Oh, the fourth one's not really an issue, uh, but it's just, I'm finding it difficult to, um kind of you know not have which is so you got the just main blade but i'm always missing my uh whenever i have my arc on me i'm just missing this gut hook um i love this tool this implement i just think it's great and uh i just think it's very very useful um i wish that they implement it you know, a serrated blade on this. I just keep going back and forth, and I'm like, damn, why couldn't they have, 
you know, put this, the serrated blade on this. But I'm sure Leatherman's saying, well, you got the, you know, Magna Cut, the best blade ever. You don't need it because it will uh, hold up to, uh, what's it called? Use and abuse. And uh, it's very well made, I guess. Let's look at the grind on it. Looks pretty good. It's kind of, kind of a bench made grind. You can see it goes up and down those vertical lines. Bench made has the same. See how it goes. That's just a, a grind they have. I like the shape of it though. Um, the Leatherman Arc, I think it's cool. Very cool tool. Um, the flick is a little difficult to do because it's, I think because it's maybe a heavy, but um, it takes a little bit of use. Plus I had to unscrew these two sides, but those are my, you know, four kind of concerns or areas that um, I f find having problems with the Leatherman Arc. A um, little bit of faults. It's not a perfect multi-tool in my opinion. Um, some people think it is, but uh, maybe the more I carry it, the more I'll like it. But um, I think it's it's a good multi-tool. It's not the best. Uh, I, I'd probably, like I said before, I'd probably rate this like an 8.5 out of 10. Just the price too was huge, 229 this is a 9.5 out of 10 for me still, the Leatherman Charge. Um, but like I said, I'm going to have to keep carrying this. Um, I just think the Charge has everything on it that you need. Um, plus the lightweight and stuff. This is lighter weight than this. This is 8 ounces. This is 8 point, I think 5 or 8.7 ounces. Um, you do get the hammer surface though on the Arc. You don't on the Charge. Um... Thing I keep missing is the serrated blade though. I keep going back to that because of the gut hook. Um, and with this you have the you know S30V blade, which is okay. I mean it's good, it's great, but Magna Cut's the best, I guess. Um, according to knife nerds and uh their charts and stuff. But yeah, so I just figured I'd make a video on the things I dislike so far about the Leatherman Arc. Um, I just wanted to point it out and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you're, you bought this or you, you're going to get this. Um, rumor has it in October Leatherman's going to put this out again. Maybe I'll make a, a live video on it. Um, it would be fun. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share a like and share my video. Uh, likes much appreciate. Take care.